Hey everyone, I'm Lente. I'm on my boat and it's a mess, but I just came here to record in peace. Anyway, I made a pretty water shader. I added multiple boats. I added obstacle avoidance and I added a world generation system. So keep watching to see how I added all of this. I started where I left off last time in OpenGL and I recreated this little scene. I added a seafloor, some objects, including this awesome kelp model my brother made. He also made this island and I think it looks great. I then added some water just with a simple texture for now. One of the things I wanted was for it to change in color according to the depth. Usually this is done using the Z buffer, which pretty much holds information about how far an object is from the camera. This is commonly used in games to make fog, but it can also be used to make pretty looking water. I also use this depth information to make a foam line around all the objects in the game. Finally, I use noise to offset what the player sees through the water, also known as refraction in real life. Uh, it gives a really cool and unique looking effect and I'm, I'm very happy with how it turned out. I added a low bug with once again an awesome model that my brother made. Quickly after, I added multiple boats that are able to avoid each other. I did this using the flocking algorithm, simply put, for the boats to separate from each other. Uh, whenever other boats are too close, it creates a direction pointing away from all these boats. In the final game, players will be able to craft more boats using their resources to be stronger and to be able to explore further into the world, since there will be enemies as well. Uh, so adding this was pretty important. This was all very nice, but the boats went right through any obstacles I put in the world. I tried with collisions of immunity, but this did not quite turn out as I hoped. After some long research, I remembered these really cool car simulations that I had seen. And I thought it would be cool to make something similar for my boats, or at least try to. <laughs> so that's what I did. I started out with making a single ray. I then added two rays, one for each side of the boat as you can see working nicely here. I then made it so the bird, bird, boat, bone, boat. I then made it so the boat turns a little when one of the rays uh, hits an object. This was a little extreme at first. So I made it a little less extreme and it started to look a lot better. I refined the system a little and eventually got it to work really nicely. At the moment, the world looks really quite nice, but it's really small. It's a really short game this way. So with a little inspiration from Minecraft, I set out to create a world generation system. I had to do a lot of thinking to figure out how the hell I would do this, but I eventually settled on this system where one chunk consists of nine quadrants. If you're in the middle quadrant, nothing happens. If you're in the middle right quadrant, a new chunk spawns on the right side of the current main chunk. The same goes for the upper right, but this time it also spawns a chunk above and a chunk in the upper right. Then, as soon as the player enters a new chunk, this whole process is repeated. It's pretty simple, but it's really cool. I think so. <laughs> but I made it. So. That's all I added this last week, and I'm pretty happy with the progress. I had some hiccups because of school, but for the ones that care, I left. I love the whole process of making a game and I didn't have the space right there. You can expect another video in two weeks. For the meantime, you can sign up to my email. You'll be notified when the game releases and you'll get occasional progress updates. I'm also working on setting up a Steam page and we'll have this ready by the next video. Thank you very much for watching. I truly appreciate it.